All right, guys, we are playing some Velkaz in the mid lane. I took Comet, Manaflow, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. This is my Zareth page besides the uh, Transcendence, but it works really well on Velkaz because I like spamming spells, scaling for that CDR. I like to start my W and then just W the wave twice. It helps you push early. Makes the enemy have to push instead of poke you. I mean, they could zone you off if they had a stronger champion, but Lux can't. Plus, look, she took a lot of poke from the wave. But this is a really good matchup for us, because she has no CC to stop our laser when we ult. And she'll just have to flash out of it. She has no dash either. I missed a couple minions there, but I mean, she's going to miss a ton under turret. It's a Vi jungle. I could definitely get ganked in the next minute or so. So I'm going to put my ward down. But yeah, Velkaz is really good. He's a, he, he plays just like Xerath. So if you play Xerath, you can easily play Velkaz. Like, he's so easy to pick up. And if you play Velkaz, it's pretty easy to pick up Xerath since they're similar, similar play style. But I think Velkaz is a bit easier to play. Just because you can cast the spells while you're moving. And it doesn't matter if you miss Velkaz spells because they'll always be back up. He's more spammy. And the good thing about Velkaz is he melts tanks. The only thing Zareth has on him is Zareth has more, more bursts and more range. But yeah, I missed a cannon. I'm just trying to push right now. Velkaz has insane early wave clear though. And very low mana cost. I like to put uh, 3 points in my W and then I max Q. 3 points in W helps you one shot the back line of the wave. So then I just W, E. See if I had another point those wouldn't live at 1 health. Okay, we can go take a quick base. Actually, one more wave, because we need 700 gold. You always want a base when you can buy the most amount, like, be the most efficient. Ooh, I could have actually killed her there if I hit that, but she has barriers, so probably not. Like, if I just stayed for one more wave, I get an extra item, so why not? I have the mana to stay for another wave. Lux is low. We're just a winner. I want to try and kill her, though. She's, she's baiting me with her low health. There's the barrier. Well, that'll be down for our level 6 engage now. I think. Alright, here's a third point in E. We should be able to clear this fairly easy. We don't have any mana, though, for another ability. We could use Q, though. And get some mana back. JK, the Q's been bugged, or just how it works. Like... You're supposed to get 50% mana refund if you kill a minion with the Q, but if they have the passive with two stacks and you Q it and the passive kills them, you don't get the mana, which is kind of stupid. I don't know why that works like that. We have free boots. Maybe I'll go... Instead of a mana crystal, I'll just go AP. The Dark Seal should be more than enough mana. Velkaz doesn't burn through his mana that fast. This is my favorite Velkaz skin, though. It's the first one that came out with him. I don't know. I think it's cooler than the other ones. The other ones just make him look super small. And now we put points in our, our Q after this ult. I mean, we have a chance of one-shotting her here. Well, not one-shotting, but, like, kill her in one combo. I might be getting ganked, too. Fuck it, I'm going for it. Who's TPing? Get out of here. Okay, we got her flash. 
Yeah, as soon as I hit that E, I just knew I'd hit everything else. And Velkaz has insane damage. Like I said, Lux has nothing to stop my ult, so once I started ulting, nothing she could do but flash. And she flashed too late. She, she should have flashed right away. But I'm very lucky I was on the edge of turret range there. If I was tanking turret there, I probably wouldn't have been able to kill her. I would have had to cancel early. So yeah, let's start putting points in Q now. I'm not going to go for plating. She's already back. I don't know where Vi is. We got sets, uh... Sets TP out of there. Go on Zerat's build. Yeah, they kind of build the same. Velkas has a little more, um... What's it called? I don't know the word, but he can... He can build other items. Let's see. Let's get this really quick. Like, he can go Leandri's and stuff, whereas Zerath kind of has to go the same build every game. But yeah, Vokaz can just build anything. Any AP item works good on him. We even go a Spellbinder this game if we go we get fed. I don't think Malphite wins this. Actually, one more. Eh, it's close. The set set passive just is really annoying to play against if you you're a low damage champion because he'll he'll heal he'll out heal your auto attacks. Oh, that sucks. But Kane's gonna get him. I'm coming too. I don't know where Vi is. Oh, she's bot. She has barrier, but she doesn't have flash. If he could hit her with the slow. Oh, I don't have flash. Nice. See, Valkaz ult just does so much damage. If you can hit full duration Valkaz ult, it just does insane damage because it pops your passive on them, I think, twice or up to three times if you uh, already have some stacks on them. And that's almost 150 true damage twice on there. So that's almost 300 true damage I did to her. And that wasn't even counting any of the damage from the alt, which is up to 550. We can clear one more wave. All we got to do, like his wave clear is even easier than Zeret's because you just press W and then you press it again. And if they don't all die, then you just press your other abilities. Um, we're 80 gold off Luden, so we're going to stay. I put a fourth point in my W. I don't know when I did that, but it doesn't hurt. If anything, it just helps me with the W clear. Some Velkaz is max W, but I like to at least put a couple points in Q after you get three points in W. Just because the Q does a, a ton. But just maxing Q, if you just max Q, then your W is weak. So it's good to balance them out because they're both, they're both really strong spells. Wow. I think she got that when it had one health left. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh, uh, we can go maybe clear something. I don't know where Vi is, though. If I get Vi ulted, I'm going to get my ass beat. Oh, she's gone. Probably didn't need to ult, but probably did. See, like, I have 100 farm at 10 minutes, and I've just been chatting the whole time. I miss, missed a cannon early, too. But I'm just brain-dead wave clearing. I'm playing pretty aggressive, too, because Vi hasn't ganked me. But, you know, probably because I said that I'm about to get ganked. I don't have any vision. But, I mean, I do have Flash Barrier up, but a Vi ult? A Vi ult into Lux? Yeah, I'm getting ganked for sure. Whoa! Calm down there, buddy. Well, I think... I didn't need to flash. 
Um, what I was saying is, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But yeah, since the, the Vi straight up ultimate and didn't go for the flash Q, I knew I didn't have to flash to get away. Worst case scenario is I have to flash. But I also knew Lux didn't have ult because she used it on the dragon. It could have been up, but she would have used it on the Vi ult, I feel. I could have went for another plating here too. Let's see, what do we want to go? We're fed, and they don't have any MR or health, so we're going to go AP. Straight up AP. We could either turn this into a Spellbinder or a Deathcap. I'm thinking Spellbinder gives us move speed easier to kite around. And then we could go Deathcap afterwards. What's nice about Velkaz is you don't have to build Magic Pen. If they stack MR, you're still going to melt them because of the true damage. That's why he's good versus tanks. And if they stack health against you, then you go Leandris. Leandris is really good on Velkaz because he's really poke. Lots of poke, lots of sustain damage. That's what Leandris is good with. Zareth is more burst. That's why Leandris isn't as good on Zareth. That's why I like Leandris on support Zareth because you're more poke on support Zareth. She's running to someone, but she's going to have to flash here. Or she's dead. Oh, we're getting the gank from behind. But this dude got Vi. Nice. 133 farm in 13 minutes. It's really good. Bot lane might need some help with a dive. I think I need 500 more for spell. Yep. They're getting ganked. I don't have ult, but I, I'm i level 11 and they're all level 7 and 8. So, I mean, I hit one or two spells on them, they get melted. Oh, they're running. She, she hit a minion. Oh my god, I just, I hit everything perfectly there. Like, it, those abilities couldn't have landed better. I waited for the flash, she missed the condemn and hit a minion. And then I got the knockup and the full W on both of them. I have a Malphite video. AP Malfoy video? I got a ton of AP Malfoy videos. We got Spellbinder. We can stack it up in base while we're chilling. They must have more if they're committing this hard. If I has ult, I think he's dead. He's dead anyway. I'm gonna take this turret. Poor bot. I could go visit set. I'd rather go for the four people. Like, I'm huge. I'm pretty fast. Once I get my jays and boots, I'm gonna be zooming around. I blew buff too. 45% CDR. Earth mode. There's a ward here. I'm pretty sure they know I'm coming. Mm. I really wanted to flash there and eat them, but I have a feeling I'm going to get knocked up or something. I can ult the Alistar. It probably kills him. Yep. Once the true damage pops, too much damage. I think they're going to FF. I'm really, really strong. Hundred and fifty farm at fifteen minutes. Well, sixteen minutes now. Jai's boots. All right. What's our move speed? I have the spellbinder active too, but I like to use it when it's fully stacked, or if I need the speed boost to get away. But we we didn't we haven't had to run with it yet. We were chasing. 
Um, our base move speed is 462, which is really fast. Jin is 375 with tier 2 boots. So, I'm so fast. And this move speed doesn't go away in combat either, so... I'm pretty sure I could kill Alistar through his ult. I'm gonna go for it. Look at that. <laughs> Deleted. I think I'll go grab like a blue potion here or... I could go grab the CDR book and that would put me at 45% without blue buff, but blue buff is up. But either way, this gives an extra 20 AP if I... No, let's just get... No, 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 no. Book and then blue potion. This will give a lot more AP. Unstoppable. Three thirty true damage, and I can pop that so fast because it doesn't have a cooldown. So that's why I like going CDR on Volkaz, because you can pop the passive as much as you want. You just keep spamming the low cooldown spells. Could wait in this bush. Somebody will walk into me. If they know I'm here, though, I'm I'm dead. Although I have Morgan by me. Mm. Well, be patient. Okay, they might be surrounding me. I don't think they know, though. Oh, they don't know. Look at that. <laughs> he insta-died. It's set. Ooh. Oh my... Wait, what the heck? Where did his health go? Look at this! This is just disgusting. When Valkaz is this fed... My true damage passive does more than their alts. GG. If you guys enjoyed this Volkaz video, please leave a like down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Helps me a lot. And check out my other channel. Link's down in the description. Um, and leave a comment below. Do you like these other mages? I love playing other mages besides Zareth. I mean, I can always go back to Zareth games. I will eventually, but... These are fun. Plus, this plays just like Zareth. This is like Zareth's brother. Um, who do I give? Who do I give? I'll give it to this guy. He was, he's been popping off on support all day. Anyway, um, we did 18.5k damage in 18 minutes. Pretty good. Here's our runes. Comet did 700. Scorch did 222. It was a quick game, so. The runes didn't really do that much besides help me poke an early game. But... I hope you guys have a nice day. I'm going to have another video tomorrow, so make sure you come back and have a nice day.